All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how you can get more power on your forehand by trying to create a little bit more torque, get a bit more rotation on your shot, and cutting out some of the close stance shots that you may be doing on those deeper balls. Now, in order to get more power on shots that are behind the baseline, I want to see you be able to rotate your shoulders. And as you can see here, I have my shoulders rotated more than my hips. So my hips are rotating, but my shoulders are rotating more. And that's gonna create that separation to where now I feel tight and I can start to uncoil into the shot. Now I apologize to some of my viewers, but I'm gonna have to use another golf analogy here. But I was watching this golf video where they were talking about how the pro golfers turn their hips and their shoulders, and their shoulders are turned 45 degrees more than their hips. So that's how much separation those guys are getting. So they are gonna rotate, turn the hips, turn their shoulders, create that 45 degree of separation. Now from there, the hips go first and they create another five degree of separation and then they fire the club. So it's creating that, that torque, getting a little bit more separation before you swing the club and then fire. Now think about how similar that is to a forehand. We're gonna create that separation here rotate the hips, rotate the shoulders a little bit more. Now, if you watch the best players in the world, they're gonna move their body before they move the racket, creating more separation, and then everything gets fired into the shot. I'm not saying you need to do that with the hips. Sometimes it happens naturally, if you're trying to hit the ball really hard or if you're a really advanced player. But just getting into this situation where everything's coiled, everything's tight, just allows you to unwind, uncoil into the shot and you're gonna get more power even if your hips don't go first. Now, one way that you're gonna to have to do that is to get open stance. And the issue that I see a lot of people have is if they back up behind the baseline or they have a ball that's kinda of high and they're on top of the baseline, they get close stance here. Now from here, nothing's tight. I'm not able to, to use my body effectively and I, it's really hard to turn into the shot because I'm, I don't have the weight on my front foot. So anything deep, anything that you have time and you're behind the baseline, try and get open stance. That's gonna allow you to rotate your body. Now, I'm not opposed to close stance. I play a lot of shots close stance, but I need to be moving forwards. I need to be on my front foot. I need to have the weight on my left foot so that I can rotate into the shot. So if it's high and I'm back, backing up a little bit, it's really hard to do it on that kind of shot. You can do moves where you're able to pivot backwards and that again creates that rotation. But just in general, see if you can set up for shots a little bit more open so it allows you to effortlessly rotate into the shot. I'm just gonna leave you with a clip of me working with Nitsan. He was doing the same thing. He'd always get into this position where nothing's coiled, nothing's tight. He can't unwind into the shot. And then what he has to do is this big elaborate jump to spin around and to get his power. So I just wanted him to set up by moving this left leg to the side and being able to rotate his body a little bit easier. It's quite a funny video. Hope you like it and I hope this helped you with your game. But you just went. <laughs> <laughs> so That's you a... just got to go right, left, now you're open. There you go. It's not even... If you're looking to improve your ball striking and consistency on your forehand and your backhand, I've put together a great video. It's free and you can get it at tpatennis.com slash footwork. You'll discover the movement and footwork patterns and exercises that you can do that are going to allow you to make better adjustments as you're moving around the court, hitting your forehands and backhands. You'll also get to see me working with a player, going through the process and seeing how we improve his footwork and balance.